Alrighty. Um, how does my hair look? It's pretty, uh... Hi guys, this is Stephen from Adventuring, and welcome to the first episode. So I thought I'd jump in front of the camera now in the present time and not in the past and um, talk about this trip a little bit um, and give it a little bit more context. Uh, so this trip started as a, as a joke, really. It was my old man, myself, and um, one of my mates, Eric, who you, who you actually see in this um, video multiple times. It started as a joke, like, um, we were like, oh, what, when's the next trip going to be, blah, blah, blah. And I think it might have been Eric. I can't remember. Someone just said Uluru, just out of the blue. And then my dad turned around and said, well, like, let's do it. So um, that was back in 2017. Um, and we wanted to do it 2018, but just um, finances and obviously planning and whatnot. Um, we didn't get around to it, but then come 2019, that's that's when we finally put our foot down and said, okay, we, we've actually got to do this. So, um, yeah, so without further ado, let's roll the video. The Utes have been packed to the brim and we are starting this journey from the sunny Gold Coast. From here, we will travel over 2,750 kilometers of bitumen, gravel, dirt, sand, and everything else in between to get ourselves into the heart of Australia to a rock named Uluru. I don't care, it's a double dare. I ain't scared, you best beware, you best beware. It's alright, she's in my side. I got all night, so just sit tight, so just sit tight. First day is down, we have arrived in Mitchell. So about 700k on the tarmac. Um, it's about seven o'clock or seven maybe. Try three o'clock. Um, so here is the site that we've found and that we've sort of set up. So here it is. Oh, yeah, it's all right, but the flies are a little bit fucking, you know, in your face. You don't like the flies, do you, mate? I can't stand them. But that's well, right, apparently it gets better. I mean, worse. <laughs> I bought a table in case anyone cares. I can see, where this see how it works. <laughs> Could have put it back together. <laughs> Bend it. <laughs> Still didn't work, but. <laughs> oh, it's the same as this one. I'm like, oh, fucking I'm going to switch up. Steady back oh, yeah, to fucking England. Fucking 40 wires later. Yeah, Where's the purple wire going? I remember that thing didn't want to fucking come back. It doesn't matter, the switch still works, but you fucking blew it up, so then it doesn't work at all. <laughs> well, at least you know this time. Yeah, at least I know. The team were up bright and early the following morning. We packed up camp, made our morning coffees, had some breakfast, and we got back on the road to lay down some more kilometres. That skunks. Alright guys, so we're out here just outside of Coolby. Now as you can see, we're not really at Uluru yet, but it's just the experience, you know. We're gonna go out here, climb this mountain and get a nice view. Of Yo, 
tires. Yeah, well, nearly fell the fuck over. <laughs> One question. Mm -hmm. <coughs> how do you Where keep that? a hat on? Yeah, how do you keep a big Cooper on? There you are, I can see it just. Where are we? Uh, I'd say in the middle of Bud, fuck, and nowhere. Well, where is it? Quilpy. Quilpy. There we go. What are we standing on? A rock. A big fucking rock. Is it Uluru though? Oh, a little Uluru. Mini. We go into the big one, but. In due course. Yeah. Stay tuned. Unless we get stuck or lost or run out of diesel or grog. That's a possibility. <laughs> Oh, you know, just some bush mechanics, bro. So you take this stuff and you stick it there because the dirt is pretty red. <laughs> nah. Alrighty, guys, made it to Windura. I'm not too sure how the audio will sound because I have to use my iPhone because I didn't bring my proper vlog camera in. But made it to Windura, and only in a country town you can have a good old schooner while you're in the middle of the road. Wanna say hi, Ties? Cheers! <laughs> in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. Bumfuck Windura! Yeah, bro. <laughs> this is the most traffic we'd have all trip. <laughs> That, my friends, is the line for the fuel. I'm glad we don't have to fill up now, but we do have to fill up in the morning, unfortunately. Um, just a little top up, but she'll be right. What is it? Minus two. I doubt it's that cold though. No, your dad just showed us a thermometer. Really? Just a thermometer, that's a thermometer, dad. <laughs> it is not minus two. Woo! It's only Good a little bit cold this morning. Good morning! How you feeling? Uh, cold as shit. <laughs> <sighs> Did you know it is minus two? Yeah, I thought so. Minus two. And? Sun's about to come up. Sun is about to come up. Look at that. It's about to get colder. It's about to get much, much colder. <laughs> Anyway, so we rolled into Windura at about uh, 4 p.m. last night, quickly set up camp, and then rolled into pub and had a feed. Um, it is currently, I don't know what the time is, about 6.30, um, packing up, uh, ready to roll into Birdsville to pick up our big red bash tickets. Peace. Remember how I said, Thank glad, or thank God I didn't have to wait up in that fuel line now. I'm currently waiting in that now. This is the line, so need to top up here and then we are off to Birdsville. But man, look at that sunrise. It's gonna be mint. Hey guys, so the time has come after about 1300 kilometers of black stuff, aka bitumen or this like grey hard stuff. Um, we are about to hit the dirt road, so um, we've just spread out the convoy over the distance of the road just so we can see um, a little bit clearer because we've had one little scary moment already where I had a dust out and I couldn't hear or oh, see. Yeah, so I'm busy doing now. There you are. So yeah, we're spacing up now for spreading out. Um, and here we go. You're probably about to see some uh, dust. Got a nice little cross breeze, so in the, uh, should be good. In the view. Oh, there we go. There she is. Mm, black stuff. I mean, dirt. <laughs> I'm 
I've got to admit, um, driving on this dirt road, once we've dropped our tyre pressures, um, is actually a lot smoother than what you think. Um, by dropping our tyre pressures, what it's allowed us to do is widen the footprint of the tyre. Not that we need traction, it's just to help make the ride a little bit, a little bit uh, softer. Um, but it also allows um, the tyre to um, mould around any sharp rocks that we may run over, um, just to help with um, prevention of punctures and ruptures and shit like that. So um, it's actually quite fun driving on this dirt road. Um, so yeah, a lot more dirt to go, a lot more uh, K's to cover. So let's get on it. So we are on the way to a um, place called Hatton Corner. So Hatton Corner is the corner of, um, or the border of Queensland and South Australia. So this will be the first corner that we're going to visit. Um, and then we're going to visit another, hopefully another corner called Cameras Corner, which will be the uh, corner of, well the borders, the state borders of Queensland. Northern Territory and uh, South Australia. So um, this will actually be uh, my first time that I'll ever be in, um, well this trip, I should say. So this trip will be the first time they'll ever be in uh, Northern Territory and also the first time they'll be in South Australia. So it's a, it's a trip of many firsts. Uh, it's also the first time that I'll be in a desert. Um, so, yeah, a trip of many firsts. So we're gonna chill out here for a little while, have some snacks, have some food, have some drink, and then we'll get back onto the road and back out onto the main drag, out to Birdsville. I almost have, I almost have, cause it's what I need, but what I Thanks for watching guys, that's the end of the first episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like me on Facebook and then also follow me on Insta. Cheers!